Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how to verify that an element is not present on a page using Selenium. Let me answer. In order to verify that an element is not present on the page, we have to use this command known as is displayed. And along with this command, we have to use a Java code that is try catch blocks. Okay. From Java, we have to use try catch blocks. Let me explain why and how. Okay. So for that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have the sample Selenium automation code, which is already written for opening the Chrome browser. After that, we have maximized the browser window. And now we have to open application URL. For sample, I'll take this application URL that is omega.blogspot.com. Copy this and uh, paste it here. Now, first, I'll go with a positive case to check whether a particular element is present on the page. The question is all about not present. We have to verify that an element is not there on the page. Here, first, I'm going with a positive case where element is there on the page, is available on the page. For example, which element, for example, will take this button to, okay, which is there on the page. So what I'll do here is I'll inspect this button. I'll get the HTML code. It is an ID locator is there, copy this. And uh, simply I'll say driver dot find element by dot ID, ID locator of the button I'll give and create a web element for this button. Okay, button is equal to the return type of the find element will come here. That is web element is a return type of the find element which will be declared with the button. Okay, declared for the button. Now I want to check whether this button is there on the page, is available on the page. That is the first case. How to do that? For that, I'll write the code like this. Okay. Button dot is displayed. Okay. This will return true. Okay. If the button is present on the page, is displayed command will return true. Boolean. Boolean. So display status, I'll say. Okay. I'll write the code like this. If this display status. Okay. If, they, if this is true means the button is available or present on the page, the element is available on the page. So I'll say button is or element is present on the page. I'll say element is element is present on the page. Else I'll write down system.out.println element is not present on the page. This else block, there is a problem. Okay. Before only I'm saying you that I'm telling you that this else block, there is a problem and I'll prove that later. So for now this code will work fine, but there is one case where if you go to the else block, this is not going to work. Okay. I'll tell you why. So first of all, this button is there on the page. We know that, okay. This is a particular button, button two, which is there on the page this is a proper correct locator we have given. So display status is displayed will return true. If true, we'll go into the if block and it will print element is present on the page and it will quit the browser. Okay. Just see here, it is going to work properly. So just give me a second. Let's stop this. Let's run it again. Right click run as the application I have to say. So you'll get uh, element is present on the page in this case. Element is present on the page will come. Because button two is available on the page. So element is present on the page, but printed if block what is executed. What if I do something like this? Two, three, four, five. Is there any particular ID? for a particular element on this web page having this BUT 2345, no, it is an invalid locator. So in this case, what will happen is you will get an exception. There is no such element exception. So even though you say button is displayed, you will not go till here. Why? Because at this line itself, you got an exception no, known as no such element exception. Let me run this. It will not say element is not present on the page. Okay. You may be thinking that, uh, okay, this particular element is not there. So is displayed will return calls and will go to the else block and element is not present on the page will be printed, but that's not correct. Okay. Here itself in the line 16 itself, you are going to get an exception known as no such element exception and the program will halt there itself. You see here, immediately you're going to get a no such element exception. The browser will not close. And you are going to get here a no such element exception. We got a no such element exception. Browser didn't close also. So what's the problem? How to overcome this problem and all? For that, guys, there's a way. That is, so you have to write something like this. You have to change the logic a bit. Okay, instead of writing the logic this way, 
you have to write something like this. That is, here, you have to provide this statement inside a try block. Try. Okay. To find out whether a particular element is present or not present on the page, like this, you have to write. So take this part and paste it here. If you are going inside a try block, and uh, if this element is there, means no problem. If the element is not there, means which exception will come? Here, catch block we have to write. Catch. No such. Which exception will be thrown? No such element exception will be thrown. If no such element exception is thrown, in that case, if no such element exception is thrown, in that case, what you will do is, for the most import this, from Selenium library. Here you will write down this statement. Instead of the else block, we'll write the statement element is not present on the page and then we'll create the browser. This is a proper logic you have to write. If else will not work in this case. If it is displayed, then element is there. If it is not displayed, element is not present. We cannot write like that, okay? So, so whatever, if element is there, if the display status is written as true, then in the try block itself, you can write this if block saying if display status element is present on the page. But if in case this element is not there, here itself you'll get no such element exception and you'll go to the catch block. Because you went to the catch block, element is not present on the page will be printed. And the catch block you went because of the no such element exception only. That means element is not there on the page. So run this code rightly run as a Java application and observe that this time it will print no such element exception. Uh, I mean, it will. Uh, uh, go to the catch block and print element is not present on the page. You see, this time element is not present on the page. No such element exception didn't come. Rather, element is not present on the page. So, this is the logic. This is a proper logic uh, that you have to implement. Okay. If it is there, so it will be resolved in the try block and uh, element is present on the page will be printed. If it is not there, immediately we'll go to the catch block and element is not present on the page will be printed. So hope guys, you understood uh, how to write the logic to verify that an element is not present on the page. With the help of try catch blocks and is displayed command, we can do this. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.